Hey pros, it's Andy JurxP, and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to make thumbnails for your Minecraft videos using your own skin. As you can see on the screen, here's an example of a thumbnail that I made for one of my Bedwars videos using this tactic. Here's my very own skin, I decided to give myself a diamond sword and a fire charge. Here is another example of a thumbnail that I made, and I didn't just use my own skin, but I also used Googus's, Ozzy Frosty's, and DJ Debbie Devs for a Bedwars video. Alright, so in order to get your own skin, you're going to go to novaskin.me. And that's going to bring you up to this website right here, and you can click Player Skin Editor to edit your skin, or to put it into different poses for thumbnails. If you want, you can search for your own character skin, or you can choose somebody else's, whoever you want that you put into the video. So if I want to use Googs' skin, I would do C underscore Googs, or if I want to Osty Frosties, I do Oz one Frost one whatever, but I'm searching for my own skin. Um, please, please give me my own skin. Thank you, there it is. All right, so now here I have my very own skin. And on this website, since it's a skin editor, you can actually just go in and edit your skin as well. Um, but I don't want to do that. I want to give it a pose. So let's give it a pose, click on pose over here in the top left. And here are six default poses. So just like the generic one where he's standing, right here there's also one where he's like sort of walking t pose as always fantastic we've got one where he's walking more obviously than this tiny little walk it's it's more he's farther through the emotion there this one is i i kind of imagine it as like on the bottom side of a jump like he's sort of falling or maybe he's dancing who knows um but this is a cool one i like the way that one looks too and then here's one where he's kind of like springing upwards. Also another cool looking one. So those are the six default choices that you can choose. Any one of them, T-Pose. Uh, that looks so goofy. But if you click random pose, it will just give you sort of like a random pose. And you can just do it a bunch of times to get any sort of random pose that you might want for your videos. And you might decide like, hey, this one looks like he's jumping. Perfect. I want, you know, I want him to be in like a jumping pose. And then you might use this in your video. But you can also use any of these sliders over here on the left to decide you know any sort of movement <laughs> so this is his right leg and i'm moving his right leg all the way up so now he's like oh he's doing like a weird karate kick there we go see now he's doing like a karate kick and you can choose literally anything you want to change so there's you know their legs their arms head body you know anything that you would want to change that actually could change for like a minecraft character if you want to do something that's like impossible for a minecraft character to actually do then you can't really use this website, but you know there's so many different options for this, and almost all of the, um, well, actually every single one of the thumbnails that I've created with my own character in it, I've used this website for. So yeah, there's that. So let's say that you get a pose that you really like. Let's do uh, uh, this one, I guess. Um, maybe I'm talking to somebody. I'm like trying to give them something. Oh wait, actually, one more thing. Hold on, before we actually save this. Here you have hold left and hold right, so you can choose certain objects for them to hold in their hands. So let's say I'm giving someone a cookie here, and now I'm holding the cookie. It's literally as simple as that. You can do pretty much anything you want, and then you click that white space to get rid of it, and you can do it with the other hand as well. So, so yeah, let, let's go back to the cookie. Let's say we want to use holding the cookie in our thumbnail. We're going to go over here to photo, and is going to give us this nice photo with a transparent background and you're gonna right click and you're gonna save image as to your computer or you can copy if you want but that's not gonna give you the same transparent background it's gonna actually give you the white background so you wanna save image as and then save it on your computer and that is how you can use NovaSkin to make better thumbnails once you've saved your skin with a transparent background in NovaSkin you can go into your photo editor and actually add it to one of your thumbnails so I'm using GIMP for this, but you can also use Photoshop or any other photo editor that allows for transparent backgrounds. I'm not sure if like the classic Microsoft Paint does, but GIMP is completely free. So if you need something, you can get GIMP. That's what I'm using right here. So we're going to go File, Open as Layers, and we're going to bring in an image of our skin. I didn't end up saving the cookie one, so we'll just use this one instead. <laughs> um, and it's me looking up like falling down out of the sky holding an ender pearl. So you can put it anywhere in your image, you can add words, you know, blah, oh, I didn't type anything, whatever. Um, oh, it might be because it's the same color. Anyways, it doesn't really matter. Uh, the point is, 
You can put your skin into your thumbnails very simply after you get it on Nova Skin. And it definitely adds for a better thumbnail because it's more personalized because you're using your actual skin as opposed to just the random generic Steve or just some other random generic skin. I'm not partnered with Nova Skin or anything, but it's a really useful website. I definitely recommend you check it out. It has a lot of cool things, even things that aren't even on this particular page. Definitely check out novaskin.me. I hope this video will be helpful for you guys to create better thumbnails for your Minecraft videos. If this was helpful, please drop a like on the video. It'll mean a lot. It would mean even more if you could subscribe. Fingers crossed. Um, thank you guys so much. And thank you for watching the video. Peace out.